All right, all right, we're back. Let's uh, let's get this coup fixed and prevented. We have to fight some traitors at Torsten's behest on our way to the cellar. Stay on your guard. Stay behind us, Constantine. You're in no condition to fight. We must also think about the advisors, including your professor. And then we have to rescue Lady Mirage. We must hurry before the guard can act. Why am I? What am I carrying? Oh. Oh. Yeah, uh, recycle. I don't know why I have that. It would be better if the entire, uh... My whole, like, gaggle of companions could come along with me. So de Casillon. Time to get... He's not here. But he is on this floor. And here? Lord de Corsillon, the coin guard tried to assassinate my cousin and is plotting the same actions against the other governors. So they have finally done it. Such proximity to power is a terrible temptation. You foresaw this? It's a question of time before they succumb. Yeah. We should have paid more attention to your lessons. We might have been able to avoid all this. Follow me. I'm taking you somewhere safe. I'm coming. Good. Uh, I hope everybody has a weapon of sorts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good. Is everybody okay? I would ask that everybody pick up a weapon if they can. Constantine, I know you're in no real shape to fight, so you're good. To my head! Death to the others! There we go. Come on. Let's see what you're about to get. How'd they get past my I, I know they probably aren't actually doing anything. Is that it? Nope, there's one more. Thanks for the warning, Kurt. You really are a lifesaver. Come on, you guys. Two people downstairs, or two areas downstairs. sort of point blank shooting these people I love it oh that's right there is a lord down on this floor I for I'm forgetting his name oh my god it's because that helmet I picked up I can't sprint I thought I solved this god damn all right I need to start putting things in the uh, the old stash My lord! Where are you? Lord Minister, the coin guard wants to take control of the island by assassinating all its governors. The guard is everywhere. They could succeed. We will do everything in our power to thwart them. Come now. We'll take you somewhere safe. I'll follow you. Good. We need to get you two in the basement. Or, yeah, two. No, three. Ah, Found damn it. Okay. Really, I'm not 
I gonna have to keep doing this? Alright, auto cycle. All that's really left for us is to take them downstairs, so that should be good. Let's grab this. I hope this is just gold. Yes. Oh my god. It seems relatively safe down here. Nope, never mind. be safe in the archives and here maybe yes we've reached the cellar it looks like a good place to hide Constantine promise me that you will stay here until we secure the city do I even have a choice here I am consigned to my quarters like some broken old maid <laughs> like someone ill Constantine someone who is dear to me and the city wouldn't survive your loss. You have such a way with words. Very well. I promise to stay here, obediently awaiting your return. Let's go then. And cousin? Watch out for yourself. You were dear to me as well. You are safe here. <gasps> you have my eternal gratitude, Excellency. We know you are ours. You will All be safe. work. Here. All in a day's work. What the f Oh my god. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Um. Too much valuable loot. I'm expecting a mess of guards the moment we walk out of the uh, palace itself. not all right so where are we going warn the other governors warn madam uh Mirage. god damn it all right fine um nope 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 i need to start putting things away My lady. Lady Morange, make ready to depart. We cannot remain here. But what is going on? The coin guard has decided to take control of the isle. They plan to overthrow the governors. They were set on assassinating Constantine and his entire entourage. The idiots! You are in danger. Do you know a safe place we could take you? Don't worry about me. I have friends here. They will hide me. Go! And do be careful. Alright, good. At least we know she's gonna be safe. Got him. All right. We 
good to go. We're always just a uh, few seconds ahead. Bet you thought you'd have an easier time trying to kill me. Alright, we're in the clear for now. Definitely. Alright, you. Messenger, be ready to leave at once. You must warn the governor of Hikmet that a conspiracy is underway, targeting him. Uh, it, it's just that I, I can't leave the city just yet. What are you talking about? The order comes from the governor. What more do you need? Uh, it, it's, it's just that I, I was told if I left the city today, it, it would cost me my life. Who said that? The commander's men, I suppose. Uh, I don't really know. But they were heavily armed, and they pay very well. And so you are prepared to betray your prince and country for a few coins. Don't you understand that the reason I am standing before you is because the guard failed to take this city? Do you know the punishment reserved for traitors? I, uh... Very well, Excellency. I'll leave immediately. Good boy. The fuck's wrong with you? Obviously I'm here because they weren't able to kill me. Talk to him, shit. All right, we're good, we're good. Now I can talk to him. You, go. Make preparations to leave. I have a message to communicate immediately to the governor of San Mateus. You must tell the mother cardinal that the coin guard is preparing a coup d'etat. Her life and those of her entourage are in grave danger. Very well, your excellency. I'll leave immediately. Good. The commander must be in his upstairs quarters preparing the attack. We should try to reach him discreetly. We could try to go through the tavern's kitchen. That's one way to do it. Or we could use the scaffolding to access the upper floor directly. But it's visible from the dormitories. And I know that the young recruits were ordered to stay there. They will not suspect us if we're wearing guard uniforms. Do you know where the three lieutenants you told us about are located? Ludger is an instructor. He'll be in the right wing of the barracks. As for the other two, they'll be at the top. Olga and Werner are in charge of the guards' uh, secondary activities in the basement. Right. I see. Our priority should still be to stop Torsten. We will worry about the others later. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I know you've paid your entry fee, but this is a special night. My orders are not to let anyone in. What if I paid you a supplement for your good services? Very well, you can come in. I hope I won't be in trouble. I was just gonna kill you, but okay. I regret, my lady, we are closed this evening. Come back another day. I'm not here to tempt my luck. Are you in charge? That's right, what do you want from me? From you? Nothing. 
We are here to arrest the commander's lieutenants. Is that right? Now this ought to be good. And for what crime would that be? Treason, you obviously. You know very well. For high treason. Oh, and you think that my men are just gonna let you without so much as blinking an eye? Ah, damn it. Kurt? The real question is why would they stand up for an egotistical vermin like yourself? Who, for his personal advancement, would condemn the rest of us to an eternity on this isle? Cut off from the world, without supplies, and surrounded by furious islanders. What a great idea. Come <laughs> on now, give yourself up, imbecile. Only you and your companions are crazy enough to believe such a plan had legs. Sorry, Lieutenant, but Kurt is making sense. I mean, he's right. I'm not really sure what contract the Knots would come up with, but um, I don't think it would be favorable. Plus, you know, Islanders mad. Islanders are very mad. Oh my god. Soldiers! Ready weapons! We are under attack! We have been sent by the governor, Constantine Dorsey. Your lieutenant is accused of high treason for having participated in an attempted coup d'etat. As you can see for yourselves, the attempt failed. Are you also ready to be accused of treason because of your loyalty to your lieutenant? I doubt it. I'm sure they're gonna make the wise decision. Isn't that right, Dieter? You give your word that we'll suffer no repercussions if we lay down arms? You have my word. Very well. We are dropping our weapons, soldiers. That dog's hide doesn't deserve our sacrifice. <laughs> he just left her to die. Love that. Ah, right, uh, let's... Well, I've got a couple of weapons that I need to do away with. Is this better than the one I'm using right now? No, it is not. Keep that one and do away with this one. Wait, does Kurt not have a weapon now? Oh my god, he, oh, okay, good. I thought I deleted his weapon. <laughs> okay, just, just let me roam around here, that's good. Through here. What are you doing here? Who let you in? I demand an explanation. It seems that your men are a little distracted this evening, Lieutenant. It is understandable, with all that's been going on. You are under arrest as well as your commander. But what is this? I recognize you. You're the governor's emissary. And Kurt, you had your orders. Sorry, but forced to betray someone, I decided it would be the less likable of the lot. Traitor. Soldiers, ready weapons. You're the only traitor here. There we go. Shit. Okay. That's all of them down. Now all that's left is uh, Torsten. Shit. We've arrived too late. Do you know where Torsten could have gone? No. But we'll certainly find some information about it in these papers. Torsten suspected that I would denounce him, and he was prepared to leave this place. We must catch up to him. He cannot get away with this. 
Let's no, we go. gotta catch him. We cer certainly have to catch him. I don't think he has too many loyal men left, though. Twisted is a snake, but he's clever. Apparently, he suspected I would refuse to follow his orders. He must have been told about our attack on the ghost camp and drew his own conclusions. He knew you better than you thought he did. Oh well. The guard, we're moving out. Break camp. We are no longer welcome here. And so, these snake oil merchants defy us by sending their watchdog. Let's show them what guards are made of. I'm gonna put you down like a rabid dog. <laughs> the very definition of treason if ever there was one do I have the time to return and see those dear to me Constantine how are you feeling death is on my doorstep and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? I thought you would like to know that the coin guard's attempt to take control of the island has failed. <sighs> this is excellent news. The kind I've not had in a great while. Thank you, Kurt. Were it not for your loyalty, we were lost. And as for you, my fair cousin, you know what I owe you. Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. Yes. And if your highness would permit, I would like to relay our most sincere gratitude from all of Teleme. Thanks to your message, the Mother Cardinal was able to thwart the Commander's plans. By the grace of the Illuminated, the city is saved and the traitors punished as they should be. I was told that you were able to catch the commander and his underlings before they were able to flee. Barely, but yes. They are going to have to pay for their crimes. I cannot remember if the traitors are hung before being quartered or if it is the contrary. Enough talk of ruffians. They failed. And for that, I again thank Kurt. If your highness is looking for a means to translate his gratitude, Gold is a present that is always appreciated. I imagine that you shall name a new commander. Yes. I will discuss the matter with loyalist officers, but I think I know who will be elected. I hope it is someone whom we can trust. We do need soldiers, but loyal soldiers above all. We are well aware that the Guard's reputation has been tarnished. We will not make the same mistake twice. Sieglinda is solid and loyal. I have fought beside her. You have my complete trust, Kurt. You have amply earned it. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right. I'm listening. I do suffer, my fair cousin. I suffer so horribly. And alas, we have yet to discover neither cure nor remedy. I'm sorry. I fully intend to continue my research. We have a number of leads, but with all that's been happening... Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet, I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <gasps> if only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer with powers that are legendary amongst the clans. It is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas, 
It is a miracle we are in need of, my son. If I may, Your Highness, we have the best physicians in the world. It shouldn't stop Father Petrus from praying for a miracle. It can't do any harm. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay mayor pray for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance, perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. The sailor's right. The holy men and the sages had their chance on the continent, and we all know how that went. If this healer is as skilled as our pretty little sapling here says, then we need to see him right away. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, let's get Constantine as healer. That's Phil from the best doctor at Hikmet at Wenshave. And... San Mateus. Let's see what we got. Side quests, what? Petrus wants to talk? Oh, Lord. What is he doing? So I'll, I'll talk to him, see what he wants, but I think we'll investigate that uh, healer at, from the natives. I need to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. What is- I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds. But the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual money lender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Telemi? <laughs> this is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? Alright, it's quicker, so... It's a complicated we'll do plan, it. but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the St. Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him. All right. And then we'll work on getting Constantine his uh, pain relief when we return. Okay. Where is he, like, over this way? Oh, the bookie, that's what they mean by bookmaker. I mean, you gotta love, uh, because Spiders is a French developer, so you kind of gotta love how there's just these little translation differences. And they're much smaller than Ubisoft, so that means it's, you know, just more of an opportunity to mistranslate something. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No. No one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah. That sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. 
He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is Noel. And he's a killer, I'm warning you. This briskard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the Arena Master. We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. All right. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Petrus, you devious little theologian! Candy Cane is not here. At least, not yet. Remember, my child, the bookmaker told us that oh, he was around here at night. That's true. You were right. Let's come back later. I entirely forgot about that. And there's no way to just rest at a uh, tavern either. So we gotta go all the way back. I am going the wrong way. Where am I? <laughs> I've gotten entirely lost. Okay, so this is over where Candy Cane usually is. There we go. This is a port, oh my god. Approaching things at certain angles from this game is just so weird. Oh, because I keep going the wrong direction, that's why. Okay, game like froze for half a second, which is weird. So we need to go back at night time. We need to sleep here on the floor. Get that nice 12 hour rest. this way and just around slide off that can I? I gotta go around it. So that was almost dumb. Candy cat. <laughs> Ooh. 
Did I go the wrong way? Not really, sort of. Some of these back alleys look the same. <laughs> you again? What do you want this time? Why so defensive? Petrus, you had a proposal to make, I believe. That's right. I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich. You know me, so you also know I'm quite clever, and that my ideas are always fruitful. You have a reputation of being a first-class manipulator. Wait. At least listen to our proposal. You really take me for an idiot. Gentlemen, teach them not to mess with me again. Lovely! <laughs> He's right there! That's true. Yeah. How are we going to influence Cornelia's beds without candy cane? Have faith, my child. Let's start by searching the body. We will find a way. I find it hilarious that I just got minus one with the coin guard. And what what literally just happened? Petrus, Come on. your prayers have been answered. This crook had a letter from Cornelia on him, and a key. My child, this letter confirms that our plan may work. Cornelia is interested in your fight. She also mentioned a secret letterbox for returning the mail. This key probably opens it. If that is the case, all we have to do is slip in a letter from Candy Cane. I've got it. We'll slip a fake one in, advising him to bet on the fact you will hold on for five minutes. The letterbox is probably not far from here. Wait, my child. I will first write this fake letter for Cornelia. Petrus, you would make the perfect criminal. <laughs> there is no light without shadow. The enlightened knows it, and knows how to guide the righteous ones. Okay. That's an interesting perspective on it. So where are we heading? Oh, it's over by the tavern. Interesting. I'm definitely gonna have to go through and just like put some stuff away and then I kill you. Sell other things, de deconstruct other stuff. It's gonna be a whole mess. <laughs> I'll do that before uh, tomorrow, for sure. Oh my god, really? Just that random dude standing there and Might as well just take it all since I can't really run anyway. Is it in the tavern or by the tavern? Uh, okay, so it's on this side. Oh, 
24 hours to uh for the fight to take place so ladies and gentlemen citizens of the empire i thank you so so very much for joining me uh, when we return we're gonna do this fight try to help constantine out and all that goodness so i thank you so much if you're on youtube and you like what you saw uh like comment subscribe to help me out on twitch drop me a follow if you haven't already and i will see you all next time